What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout. I just finished a really, really cool book. Not only do I watch movies, I like reading books about movies, about movie productions, actors, writers, directors, you name it. I just love the whole thing. I think it's so cool. Storytelling, just there's nothing better than that. It changes lives. So I'm going to talk to you about a brand new book that I just finished. But before I do that, if you could please click subscribe, please like, please comment. I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to blow up this channel by the end of the year. So let's get to it. So I just finished this book. It's called I Am C-3PO. And the Inside Story by Anthony Daniels. Now, if you don't know who Anthony Daniels is, Anthony Daniels is the actor who actually played C-3PO. Yes, there was somebody inside the suit. I know it's crazy, right? Like, you know it's got to obviously be a person. Like, there's no technology to actually have a, a machine like this, but he's so convincing you forget. You forget that it's actually a guy in here. And so this is about the man, Anthony Daniels. And obviously the... Uh, the main subject of this book is going to be his time working on the original three Star Wars films. It does talk about the later Star Wars films as well. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really get too deep into his life, um, which I think is okay because, I mean, do Star Wars fans really want a in-depth autobiography about his early childhood? I, I don't think so. They want it to mainly, to, to mainly be about Star Wars. And I think that... When it comes down to touching on what it was like for him to work uh, actually on the, the uh, Star Wars productions, I think he does a really good job. He's pretty honest. He talks about the highs of it. He talks about the lows of it. <laughs> he actually talks a little more about the negative aspect of being stuck in this suit in the desert and in the forest and all these different settings. Um, talks about the a aches and pains of the whole thing and just kind of the... It really takes away the glitz and glamour of being in a Star Wars movie, which I think is kind of cool because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a job. You take away the fluff of it and the fame. It's just, just a job. And I think he does a really good job. One thing I got to say about this guy, Anthony Daniels, he's a great actor, but I think he kind of takes himself a little too serious. It's like he wants his character to change the whole world, you know? And I don't know. Anytime an actor does that, I'm just kind of like, dude, just have fun with it, you know? But uh, it was really, really cool. It was cool. It talked about the different aspects of the suit, for instance, with his uh, robot face mask here. Actually, the only place he could see were the teeny little holes in his face. And here's him right here. Anthony Daniels. That's what he looks like in person. And then that's what he looks like in the suit. And it's a pretty cool book because it's got like, it's got a lot of pictures here. So you see what the concept drawing was going to look like. This is what George Lucas actually showed Anthony Daniels to kind of put like the image in his head. And this is based off of the silent film. I think it's, it's called Metropolis, I think. It's a silent movie about the future. And it just goes through like the original production, what it was like, which is super cool. And then later on, it kind of shows him at the Hollywood Walk of Fame there, getting his feet and his hands and a signature put in. The Muppets, Big Bird, he's on People Magazine. Anthony Daniels does complain quite a bit that he himself, like his human self, was not on the covers. It was his his actual character so he does complain a lot about that which is pretty funny but i mean i don't know if i were to stand next to this guy on the subway I, I would have no idea what he who he is one thing i loved was that it kind of gets deep into return of the jedi like the just the, the uh jabba's palace being out in the desert there uh we're there we're like with the uh sarlacc pit and all that stuff really really cool I didn't think that there were too many pictures, um, and there, I mean, it was it were, there was an adequate amount of pictures here. Here's like in the new. This is where it kind of gets away from practical effects, and it's a little too reliant, in my opinion, on green screens. All the merchandise, all the swag, 
This is the table read for the new trilogy. The J.J. Abrams right there and the new cast. Um, the forward is written by J.J. Abrams, which is super cool. Talks about how Anthony Daniels hated, absolutely hated being like a prop in The Force Awakens in the newer Star Wars films and hated having like that red arm in The Force Awakens. But I don't know. I thought it was cool. Uh, this book is less than 300 pages, so it's a pretty good read. Um, everything is spaced out, you know, not a lot of words in every page. So I found, I found that I really flew through this pretty fast. As far as information about Hollywood history, I would probably give this maybe like a four out of five, four out of five stars. As far as entertainment value, like was this book entertaining? I'd probably give it probably a four and a half out of five stars. All in all, I'm glad I read it. You should definitely check it out. It's called I Am C-3PO, The Inside Story by Anthony Daniels, forward by J.J. Abrams. Hope you guys enjoyed me talking about this book. Hope you check it out. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, original content, click subscribe. Later.